in Baltimore City took that time to reflect today. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake announced an end to the city's curfew and the reopening of a local landmark. 11 News reporter Vanessa Herring is live at Mendelman Mall with our big story tonight. Vanessa. Well, Kai, this is where the riot started nearly a week ago, and now things are starting to get back to the way they, are, they were. That 10 p.m. curfew has now been lifted, and Mandalman Mall is now back open for business. On Monday, looters ran out of the mall with handfuls of merchandise, windows were smashed, and businesses inside were hit with big losses. Although the mall is back open, it'll operate on an abbreviated schedule. Stores will be open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. all week long. Mayor Stephanie Rawlings Blake toured the the mall this afternoon, and she says the difference inside is incredible. It was devastating to see uh, that done to these uh, vendors who have put so much money into this mall. But to see them back, I was just excited, and um, you know, they're optimistic moving forward that we'll never see anything like that again. And again, that 10 p.m. curfew has also been lifted. The mayor says she chose to keep it in place last night because yesterday's rally was organized by an outside group. That group had organized a rally the week before, and after that rally ended, some of the people who attended uh, broke windows, smashed uh, damaged cars, and confronted police. And she says she felt the curfew was necessary last night. Reporting live outside Mondawmin Mall, Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News. All right, Vanessa, thank you. Uh, Governor Larry Hogan commented on the city's rebuilding process and the economic losses as a result of last week's riots. It's going to be devastating. Um, Monday night, we lost 200 businesses. Uh, mo most of them were minority-owned businesses. Many of them didn't have insurance. Um, hundreds of millions of dollars have been lost. Uh, people had their homes burned down, businesses burned down and looted. Uh, and then the folks that even didn't get a hit on Monday night lost business for an entire week. The governor made his comments after attending services at St. Peter Claver Church. He also said lifting the city's curfew is the right thing to do, but reminded the public that they might see troops stationed in Baltimore for the next few days, saying it'll take a while to clear out the 4,000 extra people brought in to protect the city. So now that the curfew is no longer in place, what does it mean for officer deployment? Police officials addressed that in a news conference late this afternoon. We're going to continue to keep officers deployed in areas where there is the potential for concern where we have had previous incidents of violence, where um, intelligence or social media information indicates that we might have future gatherings. But again, as we've seen through uh, this weekend, Baltimore is, is capable of coming together and expressing concern and frustration in a manner that's peaceful and uh, is a positive reflection on, on the city. Captain Kowalczyk also confirmed that 46 people were arrested during last night's curfew enforcement. Since Thursday, April 23rd, 486 people have been arrested in Baltimore City and 113 officers have been injured. Elected officials also joined the congregation at the Southern Baptist Church on Chester Street this morning, where the theme of the sermon was rising from the ashes, a determination to rebuild Baltimore. Maryland Congressman Elijah Cummings spoke, and as we've seen a lot this week, his emotions are running very raw. Today, the Congress addressed a question he took from a CNN reporter earlier in the week about his presence among the protesters. And he said, I, I, I don't understand. I, I mean, how do you get along with these folks? I said, wait a minute, brother. I said, when I see them, I see me. Lieutenant Governor Boyd Rutherford was also at that church service. And while some rebuilding is underway, a lot of people are very focused on their calls for change in Baltimore. Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! Hands up! Don't shoot! And breathe! Pastor Jamal Bryan of the Empowerment breathe. Temple led a rally at City Hall in the name of Freddie Gray today. The event was deemed the One Baltimore Rally and drew dozens of people.